Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and today I'm going to be showing you guys this purple eyeshadow with this beautiful ombre lip. So let's get right started with the video. First, I'm taking Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and putting that over my eyes. Now, taking my Too Faced Sammy Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Mousse with my Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush and putting that in my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Truffled and putting that in my crease as well. And if you didn't notice already, my eyebrows are already done. So I'm not going to be doing them in this video, but if you guys want a video on how I do them, just comment them down below. Now, I'm going to be taking the shade Pudding, and don't mind all the children in the background. I am so sorry, like, oof, they just would not get in my room. They're, like, playing hide-and-seek, and my room obviously is the hot spot. So, yeah, I'm just taking the edge of something, like, straight, and then doing that. And I lost a clip where I put black eyeshadow on my outer corner, but that's all I did was just clip a black eyeshadow and just smudge it out a lot. So now, going to this Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, I'm taking this light purple and putting that on my lid, but that wasn't enough for me, so I went with this dark purple from the Urban Decay Electric palette, and I decided to use my finger because it came out so much more pigmented, like it looked so pretty, and I loved it so, so much. So yeah, and then I just like filled in the little gaps with the brush. Now going back with that lilac color, I'm putting that in my inner eye corner. And yeah, and now I'm going to be taking this white because I feel like I wanted it to be like a purpley whitish kind of color and it was just way too purple for me at that time and point so I just added some of that. Now for my face, we're going to make my face so full coverage today so I'm taking my Benefit Professional so it doesn't cling on to any of my pores and look gross. So this will just seep into my pores and make my foundation look so much better. Oh my gosh, there's like something in my throat right there for a second. So now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay. Um, primer face stuff and spraying that over my face now I'm going to take in my beloved makeup forever ultra HD foundation and I've been using this in a lot of my videos recently but I really like it and I'm using a lot of this guys I am doing like two layers and this is going to be very full coverage like I said earlier now for concealer I'm taking my NARS radiant creamy concealer and bisque and highlighting with this again using quite a lot like this video is just so dramatic I was like the eyes are this dramatic the face is going to be dramatic too so yeah that's just what i was doing here now i'm going to be blending that out with my bb blender now i'm going to take my anastasia beverly hills cream contour kit and i'm taking the medium and the dark shade to contour my entire face my cheekbones my forehead my nose and below my lips to make my lips look poutier i really didn't show all my self contouring everywhere but i just showed you me contouring my cheekbones because i felt like that's like the most important contouring area and then i just warmed up everywhere else now I'm taking my Tarte Blissful Cheek Stain with this Real Techniques Multitask Brush and putting this on my cheeks. I decided to put it on the brush first instead of putting it on my face and I liked it a lot better. Now taking my NARS Translucent Powder. This powder puff I'm going to be baking my jaw and my um, smile line. And then I also just off camera I just set my entire face with this because I thought um, whatever I don't feel like using another setting powder so I just set it all with this. And... Trust me, if I would wear this out for a long time, my makeup would not budge. So, yeah. And I'm like, I'm just going to blend it all out then. Now, taking my Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer, I'm taking the darker side of this. Again, I'm sorry I'm using this a lot in my videos, but I just love it so, so much. I'm sorry if a lot of my products are being used a lot lately, but they are just so amazing. So, that's why I use them, and I'm just going to be bronzing my face with this. Now, for highlight, I'm taking my Becca Opal Highlighter, and I'm just going to be highlighting my face. Now this highlight is so beautiful guys, it literally is so opaque, it's just so great. And like I took way too much, I had to scoop some back in the pan, can't be wasting that stuff. Now with this eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking Pudding again, which is like a matte grayish taupey kind of with a little hidden brown knit on my waterline. Well, below my waterline. Now I'm going to be taking this black eyeliner from Urban Decay and it's in the shade Zero. And I'm not doing a wing, I am just going to be gliding this on. It's the Glide On Eyeliner and it's so amazing, guys. It glides on so well. And I'm just going to be doing a line of that on my upper lash line. Now for mascara, I'm taking the Tardis Tarte Lash Paint and I literally live for this mascara. It's so, so good and it's so pretty. Now for lips, I'm taking the Kat Von Z Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita and putting this on my lips. I'm doing an ombre lip today, so I'm not putting it in the center, even though I go back in a little bit and touch up with more Kat Von Z on the outer perimeter and more of my other lip liquid lipstick that I'm using in the center. Now keep adding 
if you feel like it needs added in certain areas. Now I'm taking my NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and it is in the shade, I literally can't remember. Um, it is in the shade push up and I'm putting that in the center and then patting that in with my finger. And like I said, I just go in a little bit more with some more of the Kat Von D shade on the outer perimeter in a little bit. Now for setting spray, I'm going to take in my Urban Decay um, setting all nighter setting spray. And this is so amazing. It literally makes your makeup last so long. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed, and I am literally obsessed with these lips, like I love how they're ombre and it's just think it's so pretty. So and that purple shadow from Urban Decay is so bomb. It is so pretty. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and bye!